position to uh, to be a little bit more aggressive here. And I think they'll have their chance against Spiro. But again, you can't get too crazy against a Palutena because they will make you pay for it. Yeah, I mean, don't let those nerves fool you, man. This character is still great and has some really great tools in the neutral all around. You can't really underestimate her. Mm. And there's, there's a reason why she's still considered so strong nonetheless. And Chag still picking up Palutena and... Even though, you know, it wasn't a complete destruction, it just shows that he's not afraid to go the character against a character like Sonic. But like I said, if you're Wrath, man, you definitely watch those matchups. And what a way on the getup from that platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's just what it is. You got to be a little bit patient, but, you know, uh, Pat definitely bringing out the aggression here, putting down 82% already in the first, like, 30 seconds of this game. Well played, but yeah, you, you are right about um the character's still very, very good in Palutena. Uh, Chag obviously still playing her, because the only difference is, like, um this patch, patch was, I think, uh, landing forward air has a few extra frames. Uh, dash attack is, is a little less safe, and now that Palutena has a normal grab. That, that's literally <laughs> all that happened to her. <laughs> and yeah, and that's not that bad. She still has uh, pretty much invincibility on the shield and dash attack in general. So it's not like they took away some of her best tools. I feel like they just made her fairer to fight. And that yeah. can go a long way for some characters that struggle. And then so far for Wrath, man, having that less of a grab range to deal with definitely feels much better at this point. Because he's got Paolo at 179 and Wrath literally almost somewhat untouched. But there is the down throw. No forward air. Because at the higher, you have rage. And, so, and Wrath has pretty much escaped some of those percents. And you can read the DIs as well. Ooh, man, Wrath really letting that shield get low. Uh, not going to get a shield break or anything like that. But, man, 186, they got to find a way to close out the stock. It, it does become a bit of a problem if you can't put away players at these high percentages because now you're just letting them sit there festering with rage. And look at that, 79%. Uh, a hit or two could really find a way to put this stock away for Spiro. Wrath's got to do something fast. There oh, we go. are. Yeah, with grab gives Wrath the opportunity to kind of sneak in through on the stage and get the forward tilt. Honestly, that's kind of one of Sonic's like last dish efforts to get a stock is that forward tilt. It's a decent range, somewhat fast, but also it's a move that usually remains pretty fresh if you have staled all your other options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, it's definitely an option I see Sonic utilize, um, you know, like you said, like when everything else might be a little too a little stale. It definitely is a good mix-up, too, because, you know, there's all these other options that you maybe can see Sonic taking. But, uh, you know what? It, it oh. does the job when it needs to. But, wow, Explosive Flame going to take out that stock. Well played from uh, from Spiro. 29% now separating the two of these players. we to see who can get that next big hit, try to get that next opening to get something going here. Both of them just kind of trading some hits to start off. Playing a little bit of that neutral right now. Alright. Yep. <laughs> Both of them trying to be careful. Not wanting to do anything too crazy. I think it's because Wrath has recognized, you know, what Spiro can do if they get their openings. And then obviously on the other end of that, Spiro is very aware of the, the damage output that Sonic does have through Wrath's gameplay. Yeah. And then avoiding and understanding your opponent and their play style and their gameplay as well. It just definitely helps you avoid a lot of things. And I feel like that's what Sparrow's kind of coming down to. It's just analyzing Wrath and seeing where he can go from there. But Wrath is still keeping up the pressure a little bit here. And that's what I like about Wrath. Look at the way he lets go of stage. Just, just letting go of the, a bit of ledge a little bit and trying to catch Spear on the landing. Fortunately, that's much to his demise. There is a fourth throw. Spear with no ledge jump whatsoever. But looking to use that, that excellent backer that Palutena still has. Definitely getting a little uh, concerning here. Okay, it's going to run into a couple auto reticles. Um, by a couple, I mean like six. 0.1% <laughs> separating these two players right now. That's how close this game is in second stocks in. Yeah, and, and this is also the way that Wrath understood the recovery there. Like, Explosive Flame, fine, I can recover low. Sonic has no issue recovering low. Explosive Flame on the stage here. Look at the way that I can kind of stall myself and then cancel into a down air. And then look at the way that he's setting up the uppy on the trampoline. And what a way to parry the forward and to avoid the Explosive Flame. Wrath is on a hunt, but he's also on a mission. He wants to take this 2-0 if he can. Yeah, I mean, he should be trying to. Okay, there we go. Uh, gonna be able to get the forward smash to take out that stock. I think we had a re-grab. Uh, Spiro's gotta be careful about that, especially with Sonic forward smash, man. That thing is absolutely strong. Yeah, it's ridiculous in terms of knockback, and it lasts a little bit out there more than you think. And it's kind of, it's decently fast, I would say, so you can run the rest of it. Some players may run around. Oh, what a catch. 
Ooh, yeah, beautiful catch, man. Wow, actually gonna find a way to even this up. 12% is really not a difference between these two. No, and I have to commend Spiro for understanding Wrath because the way that Wrath has been avoiding things like Explosive Flame is usually by jumping around it. So that I feel like that was definitely a little bit of an analyzing from Spiro. Definitely able to get that read. Double up air here. Wrath is going to force to go towards the ledge. Of course, Sonic's got some tools to come back on the stage and stay sword center. Okay, there we go. A little bit more spin dash action put on these, uh, these hitboxes, getting these percentages up. All right, Spiro going to be able to have a little bit of a chance to breathe here. Let's see if they can find a way to potentially close up the stock. Okay, Wrath's going to continue to be the aggressor. Boom, dash attack. Oh, great. Oh. Yeah, that was good on Wrath. With grab, but still, like, the patience for him to go off the stage, come back, and see bait out some, one of Spiro's reactions. Up air, I was going to say, if I were Wrath, man, you don't want to return to the scene of the crime. That sword center stage where Palatine is just waiting to jump you with the ball. Another up air. Oh my god, look at that patience. Just did an empty jump right into an up air as soon as Wrath thought they were safe. Not gonna be able to take a stock, but still. Oh, jeez, the forward smash punish on the forward smash. No back air. Neutral. I was gonna say, I thought that was neutral, but that was up smash. And I've, I rarely see Sonic's up smash, honestly. There's a couple times I could see it being utilized. Like, that was definitely an interesting option. But usually when I see it, it's, uh, it's like a. When someone takes Sonics to Yoshi's uh, and they try to pressure him too much on the top platform, you can see that uh, that smash attack come out because it just kills so, so early on Yoshi's. Right. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, these two definitely dancing around. That might be an up throw. No, that's a back throw. Stage positioning too as well. Wrath gets a lot of stage control here. Definitely gets the ledge to himself. He might, I was gonna say he's not, I don't think he's gonna go for another trampoline and he might just wait to see one of Wrath's, re I'm sorry, Spiro's reactions. Spiro is looking for something after that back throw. No down tilt just yet and Wrath takes his time. Look at the way how he slowly buys himself here to get into spin dash, but not it. Back throw once oh more. My God. 19, 18 seconds on the clock here, Skiff. And Wrath is looking like he might be able to run it, man, because He's the one with the stock lead at the very oh. last 11 seconds, man. He can pull out that forward tilt and take this game 1-0. I don't know if Wrath knew how much time was on the clock because, like, and listen, if I'm up 60 and I see that there's 15 seconds, I'm running. I want nothing to deal with that. Like, But, hey, you know what? We'll close it out with the forward, uh, forward tilt. But this is something that Wrath does need to fix because that's two stocks now that, you, um, that Spiro was able to live, like, past 170, 180. Like, you don't want that. You want to make sure you take out those stocks, you know, relatively early. Maybe between the 100 to 120% range. Um, 150 at most. But, like, 180, man, I feel like I feel like Spiro can get way too much out of that. And that was kind of how it was slowly looking like, right? The longer that Spiro was living, the more that things got close between him and Wrath. It was literally just an interaction away between these two players. But with Wrath having the first point on the board, we'll see how things go here in game two. <laughs> there we go. Spiro going to open up. Very quickly with a good little 26%. Oh man, look at these just dashing next to each other the entire time. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Okay, 52%, 62. The fun doesn't stop for Wrath. Continues to put this pressure on. Not gonna see a spring. A one, two, three. Wow, didn't land any of that. All right, Wrath looking to move towards center stage a little bit here and directional air dodge to secure himself with a little bit of invincibility for him to avoid the nair. Wrath has so much control in this match of the forward smash. Not it just yet. Spiro will not go down, but that sends Spiro at such a high percent that he's got to watch out for the next interaction coming from Wrath. Mm -hmm. okay. Ooh, dash attack. All right. A little bit of extra damage here. That's what I'm liking about Wrath, too. He knows he has such a lead. If I try to bother going, getting too greedy, I will lose a lot, especially against a character like Palutena. So he tries to play things relatively safe when he sees her high percents. But at the end of the day, he kind of has to commit to take that stock. No grab attempt here, which is good. You got to watch out here if your opponent has you at the ledge that way. Down tilt. No. Oh, my God. Whoa. That could have been really bad, but Wrath somehow going to find his way away from the back there. Oh, my God, dude. He's putting placing these springs so damn well. This could potentially be a stock. No air dodge to the ledge. Oh, my God. There we go. Back here. Finally going to close it out. Three stocks to two. Um... Yeah, Rath's got to find something quick because this is 153%. And again, we've been seeing Spiro live up to like 170. Back throw's not going to kill. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, and back through not killing was kind of rough at that point for Rav. I was gonna say that might be a fourth that we we're seeing again. If it isn't back throw that's gonna kill, it's still good for Rav because he still gets stage positioning and he gets to set up for another edge guard. Hmm. At worst, and that's not that bad. Get all things considered here. Right, right, right. Okay, ooh, going for the homing attack, but Spiro kind of just dropping through the platform and then getting a 1.3 percent punish. <laughs> It's so, so it, it's so crazy. Like back in the day, we used to see just fifteen percent, and now the fact that you see like twenty eight point two percent, it's like wow. I really, I literally missed it by that much. Mm -hmm. Preserve, preserve. Oh, what a cross up from Wrath. It's got him at the ledge here. No commitment just yet. You can see that Wrath is slowly kind of taking his time against his opponent, and that's what you can do with a character like Sonic. You can bait and punish or be aggressive, and both of those playstyles kind of translate really well to this character. Right. Wow, okay, just gonna turn around, dash attack, putting on, uh, again, a bit more percentage on the Spiro. Spiro's starting to look like they're struggling a little bit. Ooh, just dash up for the grab, back air, not gonna be able to take out that stock, only at 75%. But oh, the spike no. will surely clean it up. Spiro one stock away from evening this set up one up piece. Yeah, and you have to come in into right there, going for the air dodge uh, there would have been normally a good play, but Palutena, the way that Spiro is, he's... He's definitely looking for himself to put on a point on the board, and he's not going to let Wrath get on the stage for free. Especially with the fact that that spring doesn't give Sonic a hitbox on the way up. Okay, there we go. Trying to find a way to close out the stock using that spin dash to get things started here. 133%. The forward air yeah. here will do it. 24% separating the two. Uh, we're going to see if Wrath can find a way to close this up. I'm sure we, he would not want to go to game three. Go into grand, sitting pretty. But, I mean, Spiro definitely has something to say about that. Yeah, Spiro pretty much bringing it up to last stock so far. 71% as Wrath continues each hit. Spiro's got to watch himself because there are a couple times where Spiro just tries to avoid Sonics and in that process, I'm sorry, Wrath, and in that process, he ends up taking damage and got hit by that full spin spin dash into forward air. So he's got to watch out. What a parry from Wrath, dude. No back air. Tries up air to do it now. Oh, up air right there. No, never mind. Forward air just putting him off stage. Here comes the spring. No, looking for the two frame. Won't get it. Forward air? No forward air. Okay, that was gonna say forward air for Wrath in the back air. Definitely seeing how Spiro is getting all sorts of places, and that's gonna be the only place Spiro doesn't want to go to is loser side. As Wrath puts punches in his ticket to grand finals, winner side. Mm -hmm. Yep, we'll be sitting up there. Uh, grand finals again is.